Hello there, it is Tyler here once more, and we're back to do some more Patchmaker Patchmaker, where we go through, make some sounds, and then we'll give you some presets once we get a nice little pack going here. We're going to get back into doing some more citrus work here, so if you have any questions or any requests as to what you want to see made in citrus, as far as presets or anything, bases, leads, anything like that, just leave me a comment and I'll be happy to give something a try. And if you have any other synthesizers you want me to give a try as well, just go ahead, let me know. I'm happy to try anything you guys might have the idea to try. Before we dive in here, I am going to mention a video that I put up on another channel. And I've mentioned the Mighty Happy Crew before, but we did a nice little smooth criminal mashup sort of thing with some live drums we recorded and got a cool thing going there. I'll make a playlist on my channel that we can have all these videos somewhere so it's easy to keep track of where I do things, but I'll put some links everywhere they need to be, cards, the description, all that business. So check that stuff out. Now I'm going to probably end up doing some things related to that. We call our little group the Dapper Chaps, and we got some cool things that we do with live drums with that, and I'll do some things relating to it on this channel from time to time so we can get a little variety there. But at any rate, let's get into working on a bass sound sort of thing here. I got a request for a square type bass sound, so... We'll start with that. We'll go into operator one here, click in there. I'm gonna right click on this and then just click to a square. And we have a square sound here. And I will route that into the filter by hitting that column in there and route that filter out. So we have a bit of filter on it. I'll turn that off for now. To thicken up that sound a little bit, I'm going to add a second operator, and to do so, I'm going to get a shape, and this is a cool thing you can do in Citrus. I've just sampled out single cycles of various shapes here, and if you look at the little preview in the top there, you can see the shapes of what these are. So that's a square. That's a pulse width from a square. But you can just take these, go into an operator, I'll do it onto operator 2, drag it on there, and it'll build your shape out of the harmonics here, different phases and everything. And you can do that with anything, even if it's not a single cycle of a waveform, and that'll do some interesting things, but we're just going to keep with something kind of simple here. Eventually we'll probably start doing more weird things with that, but for now, let's just keep working with this little additive kind of square here, and we'll route that out that filter as well. Maybe we'll have that one be negative by turning it left. And how about we press this little smooth button down here. And that'll change the shape. It'll smooth out what harmonics are doing what here. So it kind of rounded our square and made it a weird shape other than that, but it's kind of cool. Then we'll use this and we'll filter out some of the top there. And you can see what that's doing to our shape. It's kind of cool. Let's uh, put these down a couple octaves. And that's kind of a cool combination of square waves. Let's also do it with that pulse width we have there. We'll put that down an octave. And they're not really necessary to have everything on there. It's just kind of fun to thicken out a sound in a number of ways like that. Let's go ahead and put a filter sweep on there. We'll turn that filter back on. And how about we make it a mango low pass? We'll go into the cutoff. And in the envelope here, make a tempo based thing. Get rid of that release. Well, we'll keep it there. And then we will move the cutoff, maybe add a little bit of resonance, less drive.
That's kind of an interesting sound. Definitely has a bit of square character. And this could probably be done enough. But let's keep going just to see where it takes us. How about we add a bit of FM? We'll use operator 4 and modulate operator 1 a little bit. That gives it a bit of FM grit before the filter. That can be cool. You'll notice that with squares, the FMing doesn't really do anything too much. A little bit when it's not a straight square, but really how FM works in Citrus is more the slope of the waveform. So with a sine wave, there's a always a bit of a slope or a change of the position, whereas with a square wave, it's just a straight line and then a quick drop and then a straight line again, obviously. So the slope is pretty much infinity there, and the slope is really when the FM starts to take effect on operators in digital FM synthesis. And that's another can of worms, but the point is square wave FMing can do some cool things, but it's not as evident sometimes. So let's say we had five as a square wave. Just a perfect square. And then we... Kind of moved it. It does make a difference, but it's not as clear as if we had something. And that's not a perfect example of what's happening, but... Kind of cool anyway. How about in the filter we do some distorting, but we're mixing that in with the dry signal too. Turn that amp down. Just to kind of, this is the wave shaper curve. That'll add a little bit of grit too. And to thicken that out, we could even do some chorus. Here with the effects tab, we could do some reverb if we wanted. We could do a little. Just a bit. Maybe even some unison, really tight unison. Kind of cool. Squarish, you know. That FM gives it some top. That's kind of a fun little bass you can do. You can play kind of low notes. You could add in some things if you want just a straight sub. You could take one operator, make it a sine wave, push that out, maybe put it down a couple octaves. We'll go even lower than the other one. So 0.25, which is half of 0.5, which is half of 1, half of 2. That's the ratio deal. And since we had a unison, let's take it and turn the just the middle so we don't have any actual unison happening. And that's just the one. You could have some monophonic. character to that and that can be cool but I'd say with that we have a cool little base here and we're on our way building some cool things here we'll get you a pack of presets pretty soon once we get a nice little amount of different patches we can make so keep the ideas coming in let me know anything you want to see and I'll give it a crack and we'll all learn something that can be fun so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next patchmaker patchmaker or any of the other videos I got going here so we'll see you soon bye bye